Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of FTL, this time on board the VSS Guardian, part of Dry Eagle's Escort Duty Mod, and we are going to hopefully wreak havoc across the galaxy yet again. We're reaching the end of our journey here, we're in Sector 7, an NG controlled sector where we're trying to find ourselves some better augments and some better weapons, otherwise we're going to be hard pressed to beat the boss. So luckily for us, there's a store right in front of us, so let's go check that out, and then we'll keep moving. There should be a bunch of stores here, so if we can't find anything, that's unfortunate. A message arrives saying, your scrap, ours, our weapons for you. We're about to raise the shields when we realize it's just an NG trader looking for a trade. We take a look inside and they're selling us uh, crappy weapons and drones we don't need. Well, that's unfortunate. We'll sell them our heavy ion though. And I guess we'll keep moving. We'll buy their fuel, I guess. Just, uh, just to make sure we don't run out. And we'll see if we can't find any more stores lying around here that'll help us recover that augmentations and weaponry that we want. What do we have over here? We find that advanced rebel automated ship remains, who remains stationed near a small rebel space station. Sensors indicate that it's a storage vessel for military goods. Well, let's get in there and take him out then. We attack the automated ship to get the storage cache. Now, in case you haven't seen the other episodes, which I assume you have already, this ship has some interesting things about it. For example, the fact the shield only covers this part of the ship and not two-thirds of the ship down here. In order to make up for that, we have this amazing point defense drone, which does a great job of covering our weaknesses. On the other hand, though... Uh, we also have to worry about beam weapons, because we have very little way of actually protecting ourselves against them. We are going to be hopefully... Okay, good. Blocking some of these shots. We're going to dodge that firebomb, thank you very much. I'm not interested in being hit by that anytime soon. We're having a hard time getting through their defenses. We're going to try and blast them with our defective and burst lasers. I like the defective lasers because they're kind of rainbowy when they hit things. It's pretty cool. Now, we do have a cloak, which makes us a lot harder to kill. We have a beam drone, which is great when our ion pulse, which is a fantastic triple shot ion weapon, actually manages to do some damage. But we are overall very vulnerable on this ship. We're going to do our best to see if we can actually cause some havoc here and take this guy out. But this ship definitely has its large range of problems. So, if things all go well, we should take these guys out without too much trouble. They're most, of the, blah, 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 most of their weapons are offline now, and the one that's left is a very long charge time, and they are dead. Fantastic. We have a boarding party over here in mo at the moment, but they're not super powerful. We got 62 scrap from the broken ship that we salvaged, and we investigate the station. We find another healing bomb. Phenomenal. That's like, I think our second or third healing bomb in this game. The station is a storage site for military-grade weapons. We find 37 scrap and another healing bomb. Like I said, we're up to 406 scrap. We should probably spend... Probably which we should probably spend on something. But for the time being, we're going to go to that store and see if they have anything that we can buy. But yeah. we Lots of weapons we don't want. If we had a fourth weapon slot, I would definitely take that uh, healing bomb. But given that we only have... Mm, excuse me. Given that we only have three, we definitely want more firepower. The NG can do remarkable things with just a pile of scrap. The NG Hive at this beacon are selling equipment to do just that, and they're selling... Oh, good. This is perfect. Reloader, stealth weapons. Those are the two augments that I really wanted. Faster firing speed and the ability to fire while cloaked without losing that cloak. That'll do. We'll sell our healing bomb again, because we're not going to be using that. But that is good. Unfortunately, they have expensive repairs, so that's not exactly ideal. But, all in all, we are doing pretty good here so far. That's exactly what we wanted to find. Let's keep moving here and see if we can't even get better off. We catch up with the two slug ships, and they're already carrying out their raid. One is in close combat with a pirate, and the other seems to be heading for a small space cache the pirate was protecting. Suddenly, the first ship bursts into flames, and an urgent call arrives from the remaining slugs. We suggest you distract the pirate vessel while we retrieve the valuables. 50-50 split. So here's the thing. We can either engage the pirate, and they're going to run away with the money. We can head for the cache ourselves, in which case we might have to fight either the pirate or the slugs and not get anything, and it's uh, just a mess. So what we're going to do is we're going to head for the cache, I think, and go for there ourselves. Because I've learned to never trust slugs. Even though we have a slug in our crew, never trust slugs. When he sees you making for the cache, the slug captain hails, Foolish aliens! No eye for profit! Best of luck to you! They jump off, leaving us toe-to-toe -to -toe with a pirate. But that should be fine. They've got a bunch of shields. They've got pretty big missiles and halberd beams. But they should be fine here. They had a lot of crew, though. Wow. All right, they boarded us in our weapon system, which is less than ideal, but we do have the crew we need to help support them. So we're going to send Warden out of there. We're going to send him down to the med bay quickly, and we'll send our boarding party killers in there to murder these guys. We're also going to ion pulse them in the shields quickly, and then we're going to defective and burst laser them in the weapons once those hit, or at least try to hit. There we go. We are going to dodge them in a second, I suspect. 
like so. Thank you very much. I'm not interested in being hit by that rocket. Not our drone took it out anyway, but it's better to be safe than sorry. And the fact that we have our stealth weapons means we can attack them with impunity. Excellent. I should actually heal Warden up instead of sitting him near the medbay and not actually healing him. And once that guy's dead, I can send him back into the fray. Excellent. We're going to laser them again in the weapons. We want those weapons offline. Pronto. There we go. Did one more damage to them. Knocked the halberd beam offline again. We'll send Warden back up, and we'll send our boarding party killers downstairs yet again. They can no longer dodge us because of a nicely placed beam. Now, they're probably going to repair that pronto because they probably have an NG on board, but we're going to see if we can do our best to take them out, and we're going to blast them again with another salvo of lasers to the weapons, hopefully knocking out their weaponry. There we go. As we like to see, they took a little bit of damage there in the doors, but that is acceptable. Another salvo from the rockets coming in. Please block this rocket. Yes, you did. Nicely done. And this should kill them, I believe, unless they get really lucky at dodging. Oh, they got some luck, but not enough. Their weapons are now all offline, so we're pretty well placed to kill them, and they are dead. Fantastic. Oh, you silly mantis. With the pirate taken care of, we search again for the cache he was protecting, but it's lost in the clouds. We console ourselves for the salvage from the well-armed pirate ship, getting two missiles and one part and 29 scraps. So looks like we picked the wrong option there, but it's really impossible to tell until you actually try it, because so many different things can happen with that event. That's okay, though. We'll head over this way and see if we can get anything over here. Now, I think what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to this beacon, and then we'll jump up to the distress beacon if we can. That would be ideal. Is there anything even here? Yes, there is. We see a civilian space station with heavy damage. They send us a message saying that they've been hit hard by the war and need more drone parts to speed up their repairs. We agree to sell them 12 for 48 scrap because we have plenty, and the fact is we regenerate them all the time, so it's not really a problem. We have two distress beacons here, which is great, so we're going to go to both of those and see if we can't get any goodies ourselves. Alright, as soon as we arrive at this distress signal, we find out that it was a trap. Shots are fired towards our ship, we activate all of our arsenal, and get ready to do some damage. Alright, they only have two crew, but they do have a med bay. If we can take out that med bay and maybe their weapons, we could try and board them, but I don't know how well that'll go. Mm-hmm, well, we'll try it anyway. Who knows? Power into the teleporter. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try and blast them at least once here. We'll hit them in the sh... We'll wait, one more shot there, so the beam room can take that out. Please shoot that down, thank you. Beam... Okay, we're cloaking now. I'm <laughs> not interested in being hit by that. No, thank you. And we're going to defective laser them in the weapons and the she and the cloak, I guess. Weapons, cloak. Oh, so many misses. Is it down? No, it's not down. But we're going to have a hard time killing them if we can't turn off their med bay. But we're going to jump in there now, hit them in the helm. Hopefully do some damage, and we'll be able to hit them again before they can get that up and running. So the Ion Pulse is going to fire first, knock out the shields, hopefully. No, not doing very well there. Now we're going to burst laser them in the med bay. We didn't turn it off yet. Hit them again. There we go, now it's off. Jump into the med bay, prevent them from repairing it, because of course they are NG, so they do repairs incredibly quickly. And they are... we just got beamed by our own drone. The enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL and is trying to escape, but that's fine. We turn off the beam drone while we kill them here. Please don't shoot me with any lasers while we're waiting here to kill you. And there they go. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship, so we strip it of useful material, getting three fuel, two missiles, and 72 scrap. Excellent. Done and done. Teleport back on board there, gents. Back in the med bay. You guys have leveled up yet? Fear team has. Emily has not. That's fine, though. All right. Heal up our crew. Hooey! Well, that went pretty well. Okay. Turn power out of those unnecessary systems at the moment. 485 scrap is looking quite nice. Let's jump over to this distress beacon and see if we can't get anything there. We definitely need some more supplements for our firepower still, but we'll see what we can do. A ship without life forms within a nearby dense asteroid field is giving off the distress call. We can try and investigate. It's probably our crystal ship, but we're going to take the risk. We find a pirate ship damaged and abandoned. We salvage what we can and move on. So that was the uh, one-third option that is not getting hit by crystals and not finding the crystal ship either. So that's okay. We'll take it. Free goo. Free goo. Free stuff is free stuff. Now, where are we going to go? I think we're only going to circle around the exit here at the end, because I have a feeling it'd be a risky maneuver to go anywhere else, and there's a lot of beacons over there, so we might as well take advantage of them. Here we find that there must have been rich pickings for pirates around here up until the war broke out. The pirate we encountered looks worn down but hungry, so we'll have to fight them. They don't have a med bay, they have a really weak crew, they have big missiles, wow. But we're going to jump in there and melee kill them, because, hey, why, why not? Might as well. Jump in there and kill their Zoltan first. And we don't even need to turn on our drones, I don't think. We're going to do it anyway, at least the point defense, because there's no reason not to. That extra protection is incredibly valuable, even if they're only going to get one or two shots off on us. Oh, come on, they hit us in the teleporter. Well missed there, drone. All right, these guys are going down before they get a chance to do much else to us. There we go, we're going to cloak out just for fun. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship, so we strip it of useful materials, getting a missile drone part in 74 scrap, and we're going to have to repair that... Uh, what do you call them? Teleporter, before we can get our crew back on board here. So we'll go start fixing that, and we should be good to go. 
We have almost 600 scrap, which is insane. I don't know why I'm holding on to all this money. <laughs> Put money into upgrades, Vanguard. What are you doing? All right, up the area of the engines. We can upgrade our weapons soon. Put power into the engines there. Oi, okay. Teleport back on board there, gentlemen. Zoop. Get them to repair before heading to the med bay. Charlie and Protector can head back on the other part of the ship. Turn on the med bay, please. There we go. Charlie back into shields, Protector back into engines. And we're looking pretty solid here. Pretty darn solid indeed. Now, what else can we put our upgrades into? That is the question. What is worthwhile upgrading? Probably our med bay and our teleporter. We can afford to get a whole pile of upgrades here. It's insane. Um, let's be even sillier and hold on to our money even longer. How many jumps do we have left? we got one, two, maybe three. So we're going to jump over here and see what we can get, and then we will get out of here, most likely. What do we have? Oh, a small merchant ship messages us. Underground Federation comm channels are all talking about your secret mission. Let us install a weapon to help. Good luck. They give us 31 scrap and an Ion Blast Mark II. Thanks, guys. I've already got an Ion weapon, though. <laughs> But I'm not convinced that this is better than this. The Ion Blast Mark II is an amazing weapon, and it might be worth swapping our Ion Pulse Cannon out for it. It takes the same amount of power, it charges a little bit faster for the shots it takes, though. That's the thing. It's, it might actually be a better weapon than the Ion Blast Mark II, and that's insane. That makes it so good. It kind of is. Three shots in nine seconds for one power? What am I talking about? This is way better than an Ion Blast Mark II. I'm insane. I don't know what I was trying to say there. <laughs> There's one power instead of three, shoots three shots faster than this shoots its three shots. This is insanely good. I don't know what I was talking about. All right. Disregard everything I've just said. What we're going to do here is we are going to hold on to that money, I guess, a little bit longer. We're going to jump over here, probably go one, two, three, maybe. We'll see what we can actually get here first. As we jump over here, what do we find? Nothing. We find that even though each of individual NG is made up of trillions of nanomachines, their culture still revolves around traditional social interactions. A nearby station seems to be constructed for entertainment of passing NG travelers. Interesting. Now we can jump to the exit and get straight out, or we can go here and then to the exit. In fact, we may be able to do both. That'll probably get us a little bit more reward. What do we find here? We arrive at the Long Range Beacon. We find a small rebel ship nearby. They seem to have been refitted for transport rather than combat and don't want to engage us, but that's fine. We're going to demand the surrender of their goods anyway. We prepare to secure their cargo by force, and they don't seem to want to have anything to do with us. They don't want to fight, and they're trying to escape. Well, oh boy, attack drone mark two, defense drone mark two, turn on them defenses, gentlemen. We can't board them, because they got a heck of a lot of uh, people in there. We are going to be hoping for the best here. We're going to start off with a cloak, I think, just to make sure that drone doesn't do any damage to us right off the bat. And we're going to try and do some damage to their drone system nice and quick. So we're going to pause that, blast them with a repeated shot from the ion pulse into the shields. They have big shields, too. We're not going to be able to stop them, I don't think. We're going to do our best here, but I have a feeling we're out of luck as far as actually blocking them goes. Especially at this miss rate. Okay, hit them in the helm right now. There we go. Knocked out the helm temporarily. That's good. Unfortunately, our radar is now on fire. That was a lucky shot there from the drone. Alright, repair that quick. Repair that quickly. We're going to be taking a lot more hits in a second if we don't get lucky here with our drone blocking them. We are getting pretty lucky, though. So what we're going to do is we'll wait for those lasers to hit, and we're going to try and blast them again. We're going to hit them this time in the weapons, maybe? I don't really know what the best target is. Maybe engines is a good idea, because otherwise they're going to be getting away from us as soon as they fix that helm. Which they just about did, so that's good. We did some damage there on the engines. They're going to be repairing that pretty quick, too, though. Here come some more shots at us. More lasers coming in, hitting more damage on us. Oy, oy, oy. Okay, we're going to fire another salvo of lasers, and then we're immediately going to cloak out. Like now. There we go. Please do not hit us again. There we go. The engine, the helm is now on fire, so they're not going anywhere. Our beam drone should be able to kill them here. Should, rather, be able to kill them. We'll see how much it actually does. And we can kill them ourselves with some lasers here, because they can't dodge us, and they're in open space. Down goes the Rebel Rigger. That was a dangerous fight. Wow. We get 50 scrap from them, and we find that they were gathering information, carrying nothing useful. Wow, that hurt. Okay, well that's okay. We came out on top anyway. We did take a bit of damage, but that'll be repaired as soon as we go into the last stand area. But our weapons are really kind of not strong enough for fighting the flagship, I'd say. It's really good for four power use. This is amazing for the amount of power it takes, but not so great from the concept of actually being able to do huge amounts of damage which is unfortunate, because huge amounts of damage are definitely what we want right now. 507 scrap, and I can't do any more damage. Well, we have enough time to go to one more beacon before we have to get out of here, so we're going to take advantage of that. I'm going to pick this one, I think, in the corner, and hopefully get something good here rather than a nothing beacon. 
Ugh, nothing. We arrive at a Zoltan research facility. They say they're researching genetic distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTL travel. We agree to participate in their study, and after calmly lining up to get readings taken, they thank us, giving us 26 scrap and some cookies. Well, I'll take the cookies. Hard to say no to cookies. All right, well, what are we gonna do? What can we power up here to make ourselves more hard, more hard, more difficult to kill? Well, we can put some power into our weapons so that a single shot doesn't take it out. Same with our drones. We can put some more power into our, uh, I don't know, <laughs> med bay? No, I'll do that one. We'll leave it like that for now. Maybe we'll be able to find a store in the last stand area, which would be phenomenal. Not that I'm counting on it, but we'll see. We have to fight our way out, though. We found the exit beacon, but the rebels got here first. We have to survive long enough to jump to the next sector, and that shouldn't be too much of a problem here. These guys should go down pretty easy. They're going to board us in our teleporter, which is fine, so we can send our crew in there and start punching them in the face. They really are taking out our doors and our oxygen for some reason here. They have lots of missiles, lots of lasers, all kinds of deadly weapons. But we should be able to do them some harm here with our ions and beam weapons and whatnot. Okay, and we're going to try and dodge out something dangerous, rather than these more undangerous things, like that. We don't want to get hit by that thing. Dodge, thank you. Awesome. Now we can hit them in the weapons with a full salvo of lasers, hopefully knock out this thing. Nope, we did not get the big weapon I wanted. We get another chance with another salvo before they come back online, and the shields are now locked down, so the beam drone can do damage. Blast them with our lasers in the weapons. Okay, awesome. We turned down the two big weapons, meaning all they have left is the dual laser, which is not that scary. We've reappeared, and now all their weapons seem to be broken. Phenomenal. These guys are going to go down in a blaze of lasers. This might actually be fairly effective here for killing the boss, at the looks of it. I'd be surprised if it goes quite that well, but we are doing pretty well here, so it's hard to complain. No, you're supposed to go in there too, Emily. Get in... Get in the room. That was weird. And down goes the Elite Fighter. That was actually really easy. There's no time to salvage the enemy ship. We have to jump away before the cruisers can get in firing range. Awesome. We got our extra fuel there. We got a little bit of extra points. Not that it really does anything for us in the long run, but it's always nice to have points. 423 scrap, and we're heading to the last stand. We're going to be spending this before we fight the, the flagship, for sure, but I kind of want to hold on to it in case we get anything nice here. We arrive at the heart of the last Federation fleet, and our access codes get us past initial security and a direct feed to the capital ship's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? We explain our mission, and our explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief amongst the officers. General Terzel of the NG Brigade speaks up, saying, Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. Risk all or save none. We explain them the weakness of the enemy fleet to the fact that the rebel flagship is the key, until they respond, saying, It's settled, then. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We will do what we can to hold off their warships, but you must succeed in destroying this flagship. We will refuel your ship now, and our stations will offer help wherever possible. Good luck. He gives us ten fuel as well, which is nice, because we were getting a little bit low there, despite our amazingly high reserves early on. Is there a store nearby? No. Not that I see. That's unfortunate. We had a lot of jumps until the flagship actually gets to us, but I think it's time to spend some scrap here. So we're going to upgrade some stuffs, I guess. I don't even know. Put some points in there, some points in there. There's just spending money. I don't have anything to spend it on here. It's worthwhile. No point in getting advanced radar. Advanced piloting might be a good idea. Some shields. Buy some more shield bars, just for fun. Um, oxygen, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. There's nothing worth spending money on here. We got a ton of upgrades, but like no power to put into them either. If we had some Zoltan crew, that'd be nice, but it does not appear to be the case. So we're going to head over there as quickly as possible, I guess, and see if we can't find anything nice on the way. I'd be surprised if we can, but we'll see. That's a nice big area. We spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. Doesn't want to engage us, but we're going to demand the surrender of their goods and try and take them over anyway. We're prepared to secure their cargo by force because we're evil and they don't want to fight and are trying to escape us. Well, that's okay. And aboard us in a second. They boarded over there. That's okay. We'll send our boarding party over to go murder them. Ion pulls them in the shields. They've got a breach missile and a fairly effective laser, but they shouldn't be too dangerous for us. We'll turn our drones on to block their weaponry. And once we get a shot off on their weapons, we should be able to knock out most of their firepower. Except we missed every shot, which is phenomenally bad. We can dodge out most of these anyway, because I believe they fire at just about the same time. They have a really long charge on both of them. So we're going to hit them in the weapons again. Hopefully we'll do something. No, not getting much here. So we're going to dodge them out now. Thank you very much. Not just getting hit with a pile of lasers. And their weapons are on fire too, which is great. So by the time that we are visible again, their weapons are probably going to be completely broken. We just managed to kill their boarding party at some risk to our crew, which is not too important here because their helm is now on fire as well. And their weapons are completely burnt out from the flames, and we're looking pretty darn solid here. All oh, right, their helm has, or rather their uh, weapons and their helm are destroyed. We're gonna hit them in a variety of other rooms just for fun. There we go. Down goes the rebel fighter. Nice try, gentlemen. 
The ship's cargo was not salvageable, however, they seem to have been surveying the region. We get 61 scrap and detailed maps of the area, which might tell us if there's a store near here. And there is no store near here. There's a repair beacon, repair beacon, and repair beacon, but nowhere we can buy anything. So we're just going to spend our scrap because there's nothing else we can do with it. Put it into them upgrades. Make ourselves a lot harder to take out is the ideal plan here. We can head to this repair beacon if we wanted. We probably should because it's a more direct route. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to get over to that guy in time. It's kind of a waste, but whatever. There is a mobile ship construction platform stationed at this beacon, and after a brief exchange, they give us clearance to receive emergency repairs and military supplies, giving a bunch of fuel, missiles, and drone parts, not that we need them, and like three health, whatever. I'm going to jump over here, and we should be able to take out that station in a second, although there is going to be nothing here. Just some Federation ships. There are a few Federation fleets in the nearby area, as well as a lot of wreckage. There must have been minor skirmishes in the area. Alright. Well, we're just about on time to go fight the flagship for the first time. However, I'm going to go get myself another drink of water, because I'm all out, and we will fight them in a second. Here we go. Okay, so here we are, back with plenty of fluids, and it's time to go take out that flagship. Ooh boy, this is going to be a fight and a half. So couple things here to think about as we're going into the fight. That beam weapon is possibly going to be even more dangerous than their multiple missiles, because we don't have a shield on most of our ship. We're going to want to be at the two shield bars at least, so that uh, we don't get immediately wrecked by their ion weapons, because if the ion weapons take out the shield, the beam is much more dangerous. We also want to make sure that we have all of our weapons online and all of our drones online, and at this moment, that's all we can afford to have running with this mega, d mega evasion. We're probably going to take at least one point out of evasion to power our teleporter so we can jump our crew in there and actually do some damage. We're probably going to jump for the beam first. I'm not really sure what the best choice here is because both the beam and the, the missiles have the potential to do a ton of damage. But I think we're going to go for the beam first. We're going to count on our evasion to keep us safe from the missiles and our uh, cloak here. The fact is, though, we're going to have a really hard time doing damage to them because of the fact that this is the cloak wave, meaning our ion pulse is a lot less effective here. We're going to try and make as much use of it as we can and try and blast them as hard as we can, but there's a good chance we're going to have a really hard time getting started here. We're going to hope for the best, but there's a good chance it's not going to work out as we'd like. So let's jump over here and try and deal some damage to the Rebel flagship. This is it. The final fight with the Rebel flagship. Well, the first of final fights. If we're able to destroy this monstrosity, the Federation fleet will have a chance of surviving, so there is, of course, no turning back. And they are cloaked out immediately, as always. We're doing on the point defense drone, being on the beam drone, and the hope for the best. The thing is, this ship is so big, our beam drone spends a lot of time flying around in circles around it, rather than actually doing any damage. So, here we go. We're in the battle now. Nothing for it but to fight it. We're going to teleport our crew into their beam immediately, try and take that guy out and do some damage in there. Probably going to be a little bit slow. They're going to at least one shot off on us because of the fact that, well, they've got all that firepower in there, and we don't have as much speed here because Emily is not a max level, neither is Ferret him. So we'll do as much damage as we can, but we're not going to count on too much actually happening. Ooh, a bunch of damage hits. There goes the missiles. We're going to dodge them now, I think. Ion pulse them in the shields. Hoping for the best here. Oh boy. Okay, that guy's dead. We're going to start taking out their beam weapons. We're going to try and defective laser them in the missiles, in fact. Maybe... Hmm. What do we hit here? Let's hit them in the cloak. That sounds like a good idea. Not exactly the highest priority target, but if we can damage the cloak, they won't be able to cloak out as long, and our ion blasts might actually be able to stay hitting, which would be good. All right, we've done one point of damage there to their beam, and we might get it out before they manage to hit us. I'd be amazed if we do. It'd be awesome if we could. No, they managed to hit us, doing a whole pile of damage. Ouch. Well, that's okay. We'll hit them a couple more times. There we go. Please knock that system out. We're going to defective laser them in there and in there. Hit them in a variety of rooms. Do some damage. There we go. We've broken the missiles temporarily. We've knocked out the beam weapon with our boarding party. So we're going to do some repairs in here and try and keep fighting. Ooh, this is a mess. Okay. We are doing pretty well here, though. We're going to try and knock them out in the cloak again to make sure they can't dodge us. And that should hopefully bring some people in there to try and do repairs in it. And if that can happen, we'll get those people dead easily. Ow, we're taking a lot of hits. This is not ideal at all, but we're doing pretty good here. There's three people now sitting in that room, which means they're going to die when that thing goes out. Do some damage there to the doors as well, so that should hopefully bring someone else to come to an early grave. Next shot we do will kill them. Next shot we do will kill them. We're going to dodge up with a cloak now to make sure we get those shots in and kill two of their crew, if not more. Fantastic. First stage of the flagship went down. We took a bunch of damage, but we did take them out. Whew. As we gain the upper hand, they find a make an, we find a way to make an FTL jump. In their new state, they will have to get closer to the base to be a threat, so we have on ourselves some time. We'll have to keep up our assault. Three fuel, two missiles, and 19 scrap. That's a lot of damage we took, though, so we're going to get that repair underway. Get all of our crew on repair duty. 
Get over there, gents. Okay. Get those repairs are working. We're also going to turn on the med bay to make sure people can actually heal. That worked out pretty well, though, I have to say. It could have gone much worse than that. Get these guys in fixing the cloaking device, because we want that on full power as well. We can send these guys back onto the main body of the ship. So, Warden back to weapons, Sentinel back to helm, Charlie back to shields, and Protector back to the engines. Excellent. Send these guys in to get healed up as well, because there's no point in leaving them injured. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Okay, so we'll put one point back into our cloaking, de uh, not uh, the cloaking device, one point back into our teleporter. There we go. And now we have the potential to do some damage. So, we have 28 scrap, which is not enough to buy anything. That's fine, though. We're pretty close to max level, which is surprising, given that the ship has such a potential to give you problems. Um, what do we want to do with our remaining gear? Probably nothing. We'll leave things like they are. We could take this two power out of the shields and put it into something else, but I think we're going to really want that shield power at the moment. Now this, oh yeah, this next stage is going to be the really tricky one. This is where we're going to get absolutely wrecked if it happens. Because this drone wave is going to be like seven beam drones and it's just going to melt our faces. Which means we have two very important things here. We cannot afford to use our cloak for anything other than the drone waves. Secondary, we're going to only have one power bar in here so that when they appear, we can use this. It should only last long enough for the beam for the wave to, to go in and stop and should recharge just in time for us to use it again if we use it properly. So that should be our salvation. Level 1 cloak. Um, I haven't actually tried this myself yet. I've just been thinking about it. So we'll see if it actually works out for us. I'd be amazed if it does. It'd be super cool. But we're going to be fighting on the edge here. So we'll be boosting up our dodge to maximum. And we'll put that extra power bar into our... What do we put that extra power bar into? Maybe into our, our shields? Yeah, I don't know where we want to put that for now, but we'll put it into the shields. We have level 3 shields, making us the maximum possible defenses against everything else on this part of the ship, at least. Makes us uh, Make us as survivable as possible. And we are going to hope for the best here. This is probably going to go incredibly badly, but who knows? Here we go. So, what do we have here? Rebel flagship round 2. We chase down the flagship, and it is now... He flagship, yes. It is heavily damaged from the previous fight, and scans indicate it has redirected considerable power to its drones. Ooh, here goes nothing. Okay, so we're going to board into their beam weapon and take that thing out pronto, because that thing can do a lot of damage to us. They're going to immediately beam us in an important part of the ship. Drones go. We cannot afford to cloak out anything. Please shoot down more of their boarding drones. That's fantastic. Shoot him. Yes, you're the best. You are the best drone ever. Ion pulse them in the shields. Stop shooting us, though, please. Hit them. Oh, they got into our weapons. Really? That's like one of the worst possible rooms they could hit us in. One of the worst possible rooms they could hit us in. Okay, that's not good. Well, we're going to have to hit them nice and hard now. We're going to hit them with the drone control, hopefully take that guy offline. There we go. Did enough damage to turn him off temporarily. We're going to, need, we're going to have an oxygen problem in a second, though. Oh, yo, 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 yo. We're going to get blasted here, doing some damage to our cloak, which is fine, because they haven't taken out the important part of it yet. Oh, boy. This is a nasty situation we're in. Okay, please don't hit us too hard. Ow, 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 ow. We're getting pummeled here by this drone alone. As soon as that drone wave happens, we're going to absolutely blast it. But there's nothing we can do here until we actually get a bit more damage in on them. So we've set, so they set a fire in our ship. They've damaged our teleporter again. We've damaged the beam, so we can take out of there. Here comes the power surge, which is not ideal. We're going to blast them in the drone control again. Hopefully take that thing offline. Here comes the drone wave. Here it comes. Where is it? Where, where's the where's the power? Oh, it's not here yet. There it is. All right, time to power surge. That should last just long enough for us to not entirely die. Whew, their shields are down, so we should be able to blast them here. As long as we don't mess things up and this actually lasts the right amount of time, we should be okay. But if these guys hit us... Oh, it did! That's amazing! That actually worked out perfectly just about. All right, we're going to blast them as hard as we can. We're going to hit them in the... Uh, the missiles and the drones. Turn those drones offline pronto, please. Okay, we're taking damage here. Oh no, Warden, get out of there before you suffocate, dude. Okay, you're gonna hide in here for now. We cannot afford to have him die. Have him die, rather. All right, run him over to the med bay. Get him healed up. Please, nothing hit that room. Please, nothing hit that room. Awesome. Turn on the med bay. Get in there. Try fix that thing up pronto. Okay, we're taking more hits, but we should be able to kill them here. We won't lose this game yet. Burst laser them and hit them in the helms. We don't, don't miss as much. Awesome. They've taken out one of their drones, which is good. The beam drone is now offline. We may actually stand a chance here, which would be amazing if we can get through this stage. Here comes another power surge, though, so we need to kill them right now. Ow. Well, you know, the drone that is actually perfect. The, uh, the cloak is immediately back online again. 
that might actually work. Okay, cloak right now. We're gonna blast them to death, and we should actually win this. What? We killed the rebel flagship! That's amazing. Boy. Just as we finally gain the upper hand again, it finds a way to make an FTL jump again in this new state. We'll have to get closer to the base again to be a threat. We bought ourselves some more time. The two missiles, drone port, and 19 more scrap, but we actually beat stage two. Now, we're not we're not home free yet, but that is a big boost to my chances of survival here. We're going to get our crew in to try and fix the other damaged systems. We're just going to leave that drone in there for now while we fix up other parts of the ship. Oh, that was crazy. We've taken a lot of damage here. A lot of damage here indeed. Whew -wee. Okay. So once we get our systems back up and running again, we'll go in and take that guy out and actually be able to keep moving forwards here. Yeesh. Okay, you guys are going to go and try and take out that drone. Man, that was crazy hard. Okay, Sentinel, back over to the helm. And Ferret Ham, you're going to chill out in here. Warden, you're going to go back and take over your weapons control system once the guys kill that thing and repair the hole in the floor. Awesome. Okay, actually, you took some suffocation damage, so we need to heal you up again, too. You guys, get out of there. Back to the med bay, please. All right, we'll send Charlie and him. Actually, there's no need to be any repairs done. Okay, that was silly. Oh, yo, 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 yo. That was actually madness. I'm so glad it worked out, though. Okay, Charlie and Protector, back to your stations. Whew, Sentinel, go heal. Warden, go heal. Warden back to your station, Sentinel back to yours. I'm amazed that worked out as well as it did. Absolutely amazed. Whew! Okay, turn off that extra shield bar. We're hopefully not going to need it. We are... Oh man, we are in such bad shape here. <laughs> we have like nine hull left to take out the final fight here. I have a theory though, we can try something pretty cool. If we jump over here, we should actually be able to use that repair beacon again, and then jump back down after we've gotten some repairs out of it. I'm not entirely sure if this works, but it is, it is something I've heard may actually happen. It'll disappear on the menu, but if you go there, it'll actually still heal you again. So we're going to try it and see what happens. They've jumped over here anyway, so they're going to have to jump back towards us to be able to get towards the base. So we're going to test this out. Can you jump back to an old repair beacon? Yes, you can! <gasps> That's amazing! Look at the free repairs we just got. Now we're in a great shape to kill these guys. Fantastic. We're going to jump right over there and punch them in the face. Now, we are at risk here because this power surge is also really nasty, but it's looking pretty good in our favor here. We're not certain how they're able to keep fighting with the amount of damage they've sustained. It looks like they've transferred power to the teleporter as well as some kind of super weapon, so we're going to have to fight for our lives. But that's okay. We're well geared up for this fight now. Hopefully this works out in our favor. Our beam drone should do a nice bit of damage to their overshield as well as our ion pulse. They've boarded us for the first time. We're going to get in there and punch them in the face. We can't board them yet because of the fact that their overshield is still online, but that's not going to be on for long. We could start suffocating them as well if we want to just try and get right in there. We should also be using our defective lasers and whatnot because of the fact that they recharge so quickly It'd be a waste to not try and take advantage of them. We're not going to get through their shields yet, but that's okay. We're going to activate our cloak now, I think, to take advantage of that. We might have to get hit by a power surge for no reason, though, if we do that, so I'm not sure if we're going to. We might tank some hits here. Oh, please, drone, hit it! Ah, hit us in the shield once. That's okay, though. Pa still being boarded. Their shields are down, so we really should board their missile system and take that thing out, but as it stands, I want to take out their crew first. Now, if they board us again, we might have a bit of a hard time here. Now, we're looking okay for now. We did take some damage there, but that's fine. We'll send our guy here into the med bay. He's actually trying to fight through a door that's not there, so that's interesting. We are going to wait until they fire. Oh, no, we're not going to wait until they fire the power surge. We're just going to cloak out now so those missiles don't hit us either. Phenomenal. All right. Power surge should be coming momentarily. Power up the med bay so we actually have a chance of surviving here. Power up quickly. Get our borders going so we can block these guys out. Oh, we may actually kill these guys. This is actually looking really good right now. Really good. All those shots missed. Phenomenal. We hit them in the beam, we hit them in the missiles, this is looking really good, really, really good, we may actually kill these guys, which would be phenomenal, turn off the auto fire on that, I don't want to hit that room, we're going to defective laser them once in the missiles, but the burst laser is going to go into the helm to make sure we don't miss, awesome, these guys are going to come in here and try and block them, alright, oh, we actually have a chance of winning here, this would be phenomenal if we can make it, our beam drone is going to do some more damage, our defective laser is going to hit them in the this laser so they can't hit us with that either burst laser them in the laser and we're going to win this we are going to win phenomenal all right one more shot and down goes the rebel flagship nice try suckers all right we made it i can't believe it 
Thanks to the valiant effort of the VSS Guardian and her successful crew, Sentinel, Warden, Protector, Charlie, Feridium, and Emily, the Rebel flagship was destroyed, throwing their fleet into chaos and ensuring another Federation victory. Yes, indeed, we did it. So, we've defeated the Rebel flagship and ensured the victory of the Federation. We have 5,291 points, which is nice, but apparently not even enough to be on the high scoreboard. Oh, there it is, <laughs> on the bottom of the high scoreboard there. A new most beacons explored with 101. Looking good. No other new record set, but... That's pretty darn good. We beat them with the escort duty ship. Fantastic. That was a challenging, challenging flagship fight. Whew. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor playing FTL on board the VSS Guardian, somehow managing to succeed against all odds and beating the flagship. If you have enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like the episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.